Hey guys, how's it going? Jared here with ToneItalian.com. Coming at you tonight from my kitchen. We're going to do up some uh, some uh, smoked summer vegetables. Now, if you're anything like me right now, you've got like this overabundance of vegetables. We've got a garden outside. We've got like more zucchini and tomatoes and peppers than we really know what to do with. Like not even kidding, my camera will move pan over here and show. I mean, like it is, it is... It is crazy. If you guys need any zucchini, come to my house. I will hook you up because it's just nuts. And so if you're, if you're like us and if you need a quick and easy recipe that you can do with those summer vegetables, this is the answer. Okay, we're going to throw them outside on the smoker. I've got a Camp Chef Woodwind smoker out there. Um, this, this is a, a sponsored post by Camp Chef. And it's just, it's phenomenal. It's like every time we fire that thing up, the neighbors like poke their heads over the fence. And it's like, hey, what are you cooking? And we're like... We haven't even thrown food on the grill yet. It's just preheating. It's phenomenal. It just, it's the, the flavor to it is amazing. And so we'll take you out there and we'll show you what we got going on here in just a minute. But to get started with this, and so I mean like really, you just walk either down your grocery store or like I said, in our garden, and you pick one of every vegetable that you, that you like, really. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some uh, green zucchini, okay? And what you want to do is just go into, you know, about bite-sized pieces or so. Some people will take the uh, some people will take the skin off. I don't necessarily do that. That's where all the nutrients are, and so I'm going to leave them on green zucchini into the into the bowl. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a yellow squash. We had a bunch of these out there too. Same thing. Cut it up, bite-sized pieces, just discs into the bowl. Whoop, into the bowl that one goes. Next thing, this is just a yellow onion. I've got half of it here. Like I said, the other half, I've already got some vegetables out there going on. And so we're just gonna do half of a yellow onion. Right into there. And then here's all the peppers that I have. So these green peppers, these are the ones that I'm excited for because these are straight out of our garden green peppers. I'm gonna do so, so because these are all homegrown, they're a little bit smaller. And so that's one of the smaller green peppers. And then I'm going to do another one. Um, the store size ones, you know, there's, there's a little bit more going on with the store size ones. They kind of enhance them a little bit. And so with those, I usually use one of those peppers. But again, for the purposes of this, I'm going to use um, two of my smaller peppers. The next thing we're going to come at it with is going to be a red pepper and again like I said you just walk down your aisle and you kind of say oh that veggie looks good that veggie looks good there's really no way to mess this up and that's one of the things that I love the most about it red pepper going in and then finally we're going to finish it up with a yellow pepper and the secret to this is that you want it to be all about the same size meaning that all of my pieces in here, want to be, you want them to be about the same size so that they cook at the same rate. That comes especially true, so there's the yellow pepper. That comes especially true with the next thing that we're gonna add. These are just some baby carrots. These are, you can get baby carrots or you can get, these ones are actually called petite carrots. So they're the ones that are, you know, a little bit smaller than your typical baby carrot. That's gonna cook about, that's gonna take about the same time to cook as some of these, some of these other vegetables that I've got going on in there. Now, at this point, you can throw some tomatoes in there, which is delicious. Unfortunately, our kids aren't the biggest tomato fans, so I'm going to leave those out, but I'm going to show you we're going to do some tomatoes up in this as well. Okay, and then so from here, super easy. This is just some EVOO. We've got some extra virgin olive oil going on in there, about two tablespoons or so. Garlic salt. You can also use garlic powder. I like the flavor of the salt a little bit more. And, oh, I don't know, a couple teaspoons, maybe up to a tablespoon. Just kind of season to uh, to whatever flavor you like. This is some cracked, cracked black pepper, black peppercorn, just some pepper on there. And then finally, we're going to finish it up. This is some crushed sea salt. Okay, and then seriously, that's it right there. Now we're gonna dig in here. We're just gonna coat everything evenly, make sure that's all incorporated. Look at that. One thing that I love about this meal is the colors. I mean, look at those colors in there. That is just, that is summertime at its finest. Summer grilling recipe, those vegetables are phenomenal. Okay, now at this point, there's a couple of different things that you can do. We gotta put these on the grill. And so what I like 
We have a bunch of these on hand, these little, I don't even know what size would you say that is, babe? That's not nine by 10, maybe like an eight by 10 size or so. Um, just, just these aluminum um, pans that you can throw all those in. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Some people, if you don't have that though, the other trick that we kind of like is you can actually get a couple of pieces of foil and you kind of lay them perpendicular to each other just so that it's a little bit bigger. Okay, and then from here, if you kind of start rolling around the edges, you can actually make kind of your own little brill pan on this. Okay, and so again, you just want those edges to stand up. Look something like that. And again, if I were doing this for the number of veggies that I just chopped up, I would do a couple of those, okay? But then you can see it's just super easy to put your vegetables right in there. And then that can go actually right out onto the grill. So super easy, super convenient way. And then I mean clean up on this, right? It's, it's a snap. Like all you got to do is after those are done, you scoop them out and then just throw that, throw that foil away, okay? And so that is going to be kind of phase one of all of this. I mentioned to you that we also like to do tomatoes on there, except my kids don't necessarily like them. So what do you do? Well, you force feed your kids to eat them. No, just kidding. We fought that. We fought that battle too many times to know it's, it's kind of losing at times. They'll grow up. Taste buds grow up. And so what I like to do, so here's just some cherry tomatoes. What I'm going to do is I just cut those right in half. Okay. And then again, it's just one of these aluminum baking baking pans that I've got in here. Should we call it a baking pan or a grilling pan, I guess, in this case. Okay. And then from here, just a little bit of some salt on top. I'm gonna ground up, or I'm gonna grind up some of that cracked peppercorn again. So just some black pepper right on top. And really that's it. And these tomatoes, they are fantastic. They are they are wonderful. Those go great in if you're doing like any salad. Um, they taste really good. If you're doing uh, omelets or anything like that, I mean, they're just they're just a great addition. As soon as we get them out and as soon as we get them on that smoker, it kind of seals in all the juices. It kind of just, I mean, it just it makes the flavor just incredible. And so what we'll do now, I've got some actually out on the grill. So let's go, let's go check those out and see how they're doing. Now, my wife slash camera woman, every time I film one of these videos for her, she makes fun of me as I walk backwards. <laughs> And so, really see, it's kind of, okay, yeah, thank you. It's kind of, it's kind of tough. Down, <laughs> I know where you're at. Okay, cool. So this is where the magic happens in our backyard. So this is my Camp Chef Woodwind Smoker. And this thing, you guys, this is, this has changed my life. This is, I mean, we've, we love to grill, okay? So we cook outside, especially through the summertime. We're grilling, what, probably four nights a week? I mean, we're always out here grilling something. If you want something that's super easy, well, so let me back up. For those of you who might not be familiar with a smoker, the way that it works is that it's got some wood pellets that you feed into the side of it, right over here. And then it's got an auger down at the bottom that it kind of slowly cranks those pellets into kind of the drum assembly right here. And so your feed rate, or I guess your temperature, is based on your feed rate. And so you can see right here, it's super easy. I've got this one set to 250 degrees. And it's really, it's one of those things where you just set it and then just walk away. And that's all that there is to it. It's super nice. I kind of, when I think about these smokers, I, I refer to this as maybe the slow cooker of the outdoor grill world. This isn't something where you're going to come out here and you're going to cook something for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and then call it done. This is something where you're going to cook things for, you know, like, like ribs, for example. We did some ribs the other day that took about eight hours to cook long time but so tender so flavorful really really good and so to show you exactly what we've got going on so there you go so I had I had this set to 250 degrees and these have been out here for about an hour and you can just see how how tender how juicy those are you gotta you gotta try it out right it's a little hot don't get me wrong but the flavor on that is just fantastic um, the wood chips that I have in here are a hickory wood chip. You can actually, or a pellet, I guess. It can actually get different flavors of those wood pellets, and that's the that's the fun thing about it is you can cook the same recipe the same way, but then throw in different wood chips will give or wood pellets. Excuse me, it will give it a completely different flavor. So, like I say, we're out here all the time. If you see us out here, if you want to come check it out, 
come see what we're come see what we're smoking up. So anyway, those vegetables, like I say, they've been on here for about an hour at 250 degrees. I did put the tomatoes on a little bit later, um, so they're not. You know, there's not so many of them, so they're going to take a little bit less time cooking over here. Those have been on for about 45 minutes. So an hour over here at 250, about 45 minutes over here. Check them out. Mine are just about done. So I just, again, I just tried that. Uh, I just tried that squash out of there, and it's just about done. I'm going to cook it maybe just for another oh 10 or so minutes, just kind of till till desired doneness. They're tender now, but there's still a little bit of a crisp to them, and so we're going to leave it on for about 10 more minutes, and then we're going to call it dinner. So anyway, I hope, I hope you guys find that useful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in that section below. If you like this video, that'd be great. If you share it, that would be even better. Um, thanks so much for those in advance, and I uh, hope to see you next time on ToneandTitan.com.